Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Geneva and in today's video we're going to do a little Adidas unboxing. So if you want to see what's inside this box then please continue to watch. I don't know about you, but for the spring and the summer, I've been wanting to refresh my wardrobe and add some colorful shoes. The Adidas Sambas have been everywhere, but I didn't want to go that route because I heard that they're not wide foot friendly and I have a wide foot. So we are going to jump right into this. The box arrived today. The shipping was insanely fast. So we're just going to jump in. I'm going to give you all the details, my first impressions. I'm going to measure my foot. We're going to get into all the specs. So that way, if you're looking to add these shoes to your wardrobe then maybe this video will be helpful for you so let's go ahead and grab the box so i did get two items let's just go ahead and open that up there's something in the blue box and there's something in this Topi gray box. So I think we're going to start with the blue box. Okay. So these are dun, 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 the gazelles. Okay. So these are the gazelles and I just think they are really cute and will be great for the summer. And so I got these and we're going to go through all the specs. So the official name of these are, of course, let's see on here. These are the Gazelle Indoor Shoes. These are a woman's shoe. And the color is Cloud White Collegiate Green and Core Black. Because if you can see up close, it is green here, black here, and then green here. It has the gum sole, which I really like because I think it makes it a little bit more casual. And then it has the leather upper, and then this part is also leather. And then it has the synthetic sole on the inside. So for these particular shoes, I wanted to go with these, like I said, because I heard that the Sambas um, were not friendly for wide feet and I have a wide foot. So I wanted to go with the Gazelles. I haven't tried these on or anything, so we're going to experience them together. And I can definitely say my first impressions are I absolutely love them. I hope that they fit and that they're wide enough and comfortable on my foot. So I've read and watched so many videos and I could not get a grasp on what to order. So first things first is I went through on the Adidas website you can there is a sizing chart and I highly recommend that you use the sizing chart. Well we'll We'll know here in a second whether or not it's going to work for us. So I got a trusty little measuring tape out and I measured my foot from heel to toe and my foot measured a 10. So it said that I should get a size nine in this shoe. And so that is what I actually purchased, the size nine. Now I am a true nine and a half, but Adidas usually run very big for me, um, usually like a half size big. So I was hesitant to go, to go with the nine, but this colorway had a bunch of sizing available. So I figured if this didn't work, then I would just return it and um, exchange it for another size. So I got the size nine. So we're gonna pick out the other one, pull that out. So this is the actual foot that has the tag in the information on it if you are interested. So these are what the actual shoes look like. I know they, a lot of people say they're like bowling shoes, but I think they're so cute and they're like, you could dress this up and wear, you know, a little nice maxi dress or you can wear score and some shorts and a t-shirt. You can dress it up or dress it down. I just think they're so cute. So this is what it looks like. You can see it says gazelle right there. And then the back doesn't have any logos or anything. And you come around this way, you'll see the gazelle on this side. Then you'll see on the bottom that it has the Adidas symbol on it, which I just think is so cute. So these are brand new, have never been worn. So let's go ahead and put some socks on and see whether or not they fit. Okay, so 
I went really quickly and changed my shirt underneath because I felt like the girls were popping out. Um, so yeah, I grabbed my Adidas socks while I was in there. So I'm just gonna slip those on really quick. These are the thin no show socks. And moment of truth, let's see if they fit. Okay, so. They fit. Oh, yay. Okay. I was so concerned about whether or not the nine was going to be too small, but they definitely fit. There they are on my feet and they feel very comfortable. I'm going to um, go downstairs and do some shots so that way you guys can see the actual shoe on my foot. So let's Okay, so here they are. Here's a side profile. Once again, I'm a true nine and a half and I ordered these in a size nine. And you know, when you have large feet, you're always concerned about them looking too big. And I don't think that these look too big at all. And they seem very comfortable. Of course, these are just my first impressions because I haven't worn them. I'm going to take the tag off now that I know that they fit properly. But here's the back of them. And yeah, so this is what it looks like on my foot. So if you're just concerned if you have the same size foot and whether or not they'll look too big. But yeah, I think that they are really, really cute. So now that I've had a chance to try these on, let's just go ahead and do a recap and give you guys my overall thoughts on these. So they retail for $120 and they are available in a total of three colors. This specific woman's gazelle shoe is available in three different colors. However, in the men's, you have way more variety. But these, just trying them on for the first time, they were comfortable. Do I think that they are wide foot friendly? I do. And as far as sizing goes, I'm a true nine and a half. I ordered a size nine according to the Adidas chart. And these were perfection. So yeah, if you have a similar size shoe and... If you have a similar size foot, then hopefully the nines will also work out for you. But I just think that they are so cute. All right, let's go ahead and head to the next pair and see if we're going to be two for two. All right, now we are going to the second pair. So with these particular shoes, let me just show them to you and then we'll get into what size I ordered and all that kind of great stuff. So I wanted something colorful. So we already had the green. Now it is time to add... Dun, 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 dun. pink ones aren't these so cute oh my goodness so I really wanted a pink or red shoe I wasn't sure um and then I saw these and I'm like oh they're so cute I love how I love this actual shade of pink I just think they are really really cute so we're going to go into the details and everything of these, but this is what they look like. Here is a closer up. And this particular shoe is called the VL Court 3.0 shoe. This is also in the women's section. And that's what these are. So I wanted these because the other ones I got had the gum soles and these have the all white soles. So I thought it would be cute to get something that was a little bit different. I also liked about this shoe that it had the little Adidas right here. Like how cute is that in gold with some gold jewelry for the summer? You're not gonna be able to tell me nothing. Here is the tag if you're interested. And on this particular shoe, you have the three stripes on the side and it actually says Adidas right here. There's nothing on the back of the shoe. You have your three stripes again. I like that the shoe strings that came with it are the same color as the actual shoe. So yeah, that's the overall gist on this. Let's see if we can get to materials. So these are not a leather shoe or a suede shoe. I'm trying to see if I can see exactly. It just says, oh, coated leather upper. 
textile lining cushion midsole and that's all it says and the particular color of this one this is pink fusion cloud white and bright red okay so the bright red is talking about the tag of course pink fusion all over and then you have your cloud white everywhere else so this is what the shoe looks like and on this one i also use the sizing chart so on the adidas website when you're looking at this shoe there is a little tab and it says find your size so i put in all my specs there i put that i'm a nine and a half that i have a wide foot and it told me to go with my true to size it said go with a nine and a half so that is exactly show you guys on the box that is exactly what i ordered in this shoe so i ordered a nine and a half and now let's see whether or not they fit they look like they would. Also, I don't know if I showed you guys the back. So there's no Adidas branding or anything on there. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so let me just take off this and take the tissue out of there. And let's try these on. Okay, that's tight. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> the length of it feels fine. So I would say probably also go based on um, the sizing chart, but the width, it is tight on my foot. If you guys own these, please comment down below and share with us and let us know do they loosen up over time? Am I just going to have to loosen the shoestrings? They definitely feel um, the fit is completely different than the gazelles. This is what it looks like on my foot. But once again, I'm going to show you guys what they look like. But all right, let's undo this one. Take tissue out of this too this one on and see if it feels the same yeah it's still it's a little tight I think it's the shoe strings I'm gonna try and loosen them but I feel like the actual length of them are good to go but the width is definitely snug if you have a wide foot. So I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys what these look like on my foot. Okay, so if you're thinking about these, here is what they look like on my foot. They look a little big to me. I think it's just the style of the shoe. I definitely think that the gazelles make my foot look slimmer but i love the color saturation in these all right here's the back of them other side here they are on the front and i don't know if you guys can tell but they are they don't look like they're tight but they are i think it's just the shoestrings in I may have a little bit of room to loosen these, but they're so cute. The length is really, really good. So I would say that these are true to size because I ordered these in a nine and a half as the website instructed. So yeah, that is the overall look on these. Okay, so I am back from trying these cuties on and let's go ahead and give you my overall impression of these. I love the color saturation. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love the detailing right here with the Adidas on it. And I think the sizing chart is accurate as far as picking out your size. However, I do not think these are wide foot friendly. And that is as they came out of the box. Once I loosen up the shoestrings. I will let you guys know if I feel if they're any better. But as of right now, just straight out the box, I don't think they're wide foot friendly because they're extremely tight on my foot. 
uh, length and everything like that, good to go. It's just the width that I had a little bit concerned about. These shoes retail for $75. So I think that that's worth it and is a really good price if they worked for me. So I'm unsure about these and I, I'm not sure if I want to go up a size because then I think, well, I can't even go up a size in these because they weren't available anymore. I got the last nine and a half that they had, but they do have it in other colors, like a really pretty blue and a red where I could get a 10. So I'm unsure about that. If you own these, if you have a wide foot, please comment down below and let me know if just like loosen the shoe strings worked for you or if you're like no these don't work for me at all or if i like just need to wear them more and break them in but overall really cute shoe i think they're worth the 75 dollars price tag i'm not sure whether or not i'm going to keep these in my wardrobe if you are here to the end thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel if you are a new viewer and you like beauty, travel, fashion, home decor, even some shoe try-ons, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you own any of these styles. Help us out with the sizing and everything. Let us know what your normal size is. If you have the gazelles, you know, the sambas or whatever, because Adidas shoe sizing is just all over the place. So hopefully we can help each other out and I wish you guys happy shopping and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.